All right, Spinners and Sharks, it is a hot one out here today. And you know what we need when we get the heat? Pepper. Let's go to the pepper mill. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right, guys, here we are coming up on the pepper mill. And they are finally open again. So you can go inside and have a bite. But we are right there. Let's go on in and have some breakfast. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. Honey, are you serving? I'll, I will be shortly. She will be shortly, guys. If we don't get food, she will be short. Okay, so that's the, that's the roundabout Amazonian way of saying, yes, I'm starving too. <laughs> All right, babe. So, what do you think of Pepper Mill so far? Just having a look at it physically. I like the ambiance. Like the ambiance. Let's take a look at the ambiance. Definitely has a Vegas vibe to it. As TVP would say, it's got that. It's got a vibe. Or it is a vibe, I should say. It's got its own slot machines and everything, so you can actually hang out in the lounge and uh, try one of the one arm bandits. See if you can win some money for uh, for dinner or whatever. Or more accurately, see if they'll let you through for it. All right. And while we're waiting, we're gonna check out the Fireside Lounge. Oh yeah, we can just kick it in here for a minute. Have a seat. Wait up. I think so. We should be able to hear from here. And then maybe we'll just wait. I'm gonna see you party up. Yeah, we can. Hear. You just wanna sit down for a minute? Oh, it's pretty in here. Look at this. You got televisions everywhere. Yeah, I've never actually been back here in the fireside lounge, but it's nice. But yeah, we can even grab a drink and wait. You want to do that? Cool. Oh, what do you want to drink? What do you want to drink? Okay. Yeah, definitely much better uh, time hanging out in the Fireside Lounge. You also have a full cocktail menu, so you can enjoy cocktails while you wait for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They have that, and you can also have appetizers over here too, which is a pretty neat little thing. But we're in for breakfast, so that's what our plan is. Alright, Spanish and Sharks, we're officially here. We're gonna go ahead and go over the menu. We'll go over it with you real quick and then we're gonna order a little something. Uh, you know, that crab cake Benedict looks uh, pretty good. What do you think, honey? What? Well, what, uh, yeah, what do you think that you're gonna end up with? I don't know. I can't be sure breakfast and lunch. I mean, it's Vegas. You can do whatever, whenever. Yeah. They also have some great. Oh, they do have just crack cakes here. Buffalo wings, whole nine, yeah. I mean, this is uh, the best combination of a proper restaurant and a diner right here. So you're gonna try the what now? The unburger. The unburger? Oh, okay, so that's the veggie patty there. Okay, that sounds about right. You've been in a veggie burger paradise since we've been here. Well, that's good for the any vegetarians that know about. That is true. That is true. It's good for the people. Oh. Good for the channel. Always got to help with the people. All right, so we decided to retry a peppermint classic, going with the crab cakes benedict as well as one of the Corona margaritas. I guess that's not so much a peppermint classic, but I wanted a Corona margarita, so that's on me. Now, Wonder Woman. What did Wonder Woman get? What did Wonder Woman get? I don't know. What are you gonna make? You gonna make me talk about it? Oh, I am gonna make you talk about it. I got some battered avocado and a sundae. And a sundae. It'll speak for itself on camera. Yep, that's what uh, that's what the plan is. We'll find out what the sundae is like too, so that'll be interesting. All right, guys, here it is. The Corona Rita. We're gonna go ahead and give this thing a try now. It's got tequila, triple sec, and of course, a Corona with the lime. So, here we are. 
Wow. That is sweet. That is really sweet. That's easy to drink all the way through and not taste a thing. It's actually smoothly done. It's got the, I mean, you can taste the lime. If you don't like sweet, I wouldn't advise it. I generally don't. It's a little syrupy. Easy four out of five, no questions asked. Can't even take the taste of the alcohol. And here it is, the Colossal Sunday. It's not the Titanic Sunday, but Wonder Woman seems to be under the distinct impression that if she eats this, she'll have room for not only hot chocolate too, but also battered avocado. I don't know why she thinks this. She's giving me a death glare. You kind of are. <laughs> it's a death smile. What do you think? What do you think so far? What do I think? Yeah, what do you think? I haven't gotten down to the chocolate yet. So far the vanilla is good. So far the vanilla is good. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll have to see what the chocolate's like. Okay, we're going in. Ah, uh, there we are. Poached egg. There we go. With the crab cake. Let's see how this ends up. Oh, sorry about that. Knocking a wonder woman a little bit there. That's my bad. Yeah. We're gonna try it out. Mmm. That's a good crab cake. Mm. Good crab cake and a good hollandaise sauce too. I would get worried about hollandaise because they often come out very bland. This is very well done. Because I've had a gripe, it's, uh, there's too much hollandaise sauce, I think, on it. But, you know, yeah, it's really well done. So it's the, uh, it's the crab cake itself. It's fluffy, it's light. It tastes great. Ends up in a 4 out of 5, for sure. 4 out of 5? Okay. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, no one ever asked me that. Okay, um, well, in this case, it's because there's too much hollandaise sauce, I think. It might have been better if it was on the side. I guess that's an easier thing to fix. Oh, the hash browns are frozen. Oh, too bad. It's always a shame. It's always a shame. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely frozen. Yeah. Because you can fix that with some hot sauce or whatever, but, yeah. I never get any frozen hash browns, but, yeah, good stuff. So we got some beer battered avocados. What is this? Yep, I believe, yeah, it's definitely battered. With the uh, battered. chipotle sauce, right? Yeah. All right, chipotle sauce. Mm. An interesting taste to it. I'm not sure if I care much for the for the sauce either. I think you would probably would have picked the the other choice, which was the poblano ranch. I think you probably would have liked that better. Probably. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I don't think I would have ordered them for myself, but you know, if it was at the table, I definitely would have had one. Um, I think I could give it a three out of five. Just doesn't blow me away, but um, I think it, it, it's I think it's a nice appetizer. I think it's a fine appetizer. I give it a four. Yep. Wonder Woman gives it a four. She's a professional vegetarian, so defer to her judgment. Don't defer to mine. De 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 definitely judgment. not vegan. Not vegan. Just the sauce. Because of the sauce. There's cream in it. I think it's cut in fresh. I don't know. So, not too bad. Yeah, I think I prefer it a little more without the sauce, but yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't blow me away. Maybe it's better with the Guadalajara Ranch. We don't know. But at least we have that. Alright, final thoughts on the pepper mill here. Wonder Woman, do you approve or do you disapprove? I approve. I think um, I think next time I'll try some different things though. Try a few different things next time. Yeah, I think I approve too. Um, overall, definitely give the experience, what, a 4 out of 5 I think? Yeah. It's reasonable, yeah. Yeah, um, the service was good. Food, food was good, if just not spectacular. Definitely, yeah. I mean, they, they really lean on the sauces and I need them to stop leaning on the sauces. You gotta make sure the core food is high quality too. Crab cakes were great. Love the crab cakes. Uh, definitely too much hollandaise sauce on there too and wasn't digging the fried avocado sauce there. The fried avocado itself was pretty decent. Nothing spectacular. It didn't blow me away but you know it was definitely quite edible. I wouldn't order it myself. Um, you said the Sunday was pretty good. I would give the Sunday a four out of five. The only reason I don't give it a five is that the 
fudge was too sweet even for me. Oh, that's saying something. Yeah, she, and um, I, I was kind of at my sweet limit with the Corona Rita, honestly. That triple sec hits, so... But it's well mixed, well blended, um, just just a little too sweet. That's probably the only gripe I had about it, if I'm being objective and honest about it. <laughs> so yeah, so if you guys are interested in Pepper Mill, it's coincidentally right across from the new Resorts World Las Vegas. You can literally walk out of the Conrad Tower and then, uh, yeah, walk across the street and boom, you're there. It's a good alternative to the 40 different uh, eateries that they have there if you're not in the mood for anything they have there. All right there, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Not much else to say about the Vegas classic Pepper Mill on my end, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about the restaurant in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out our 10,000 subscriber livestream this Saturday at 7pm Vegas time. We're going to get into the channel's origins, goals for next year, announcements, and even a giveaway for our loyal viewers. So until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you all strong hands and, of course, happy spinning, you guys.